Hey everybody, thanks for coming in to check out the review of the 900 Global After Dark Hybrid. Um, really good ball here. I think you guys are gonna be impressed as you watch this. The layout on this is 72 by three and three eighths by 77, um, which is a three and three eighths leverage drill uh, with the pin under. Differential uh, 030 RG256. Wouldn't lead you to believe this ball has a lot to it, but I think you're gonna be surprised here. So down with the first frame into the track area, uh, wrap a 10 there. Um, I was a little disappointed with that because I feel like that was actually a pretty good shot. Um, ball wasn't late, it just, it, for whatever reason, it just didn't get that dang 10 out. Um, so anyway, moving on to the second frame here. Um, you know, the, the, the everything certainly changes a little bit. So check this out. Um, there's one. And, you know, I know I've told you numerous times in other videos that I've done that I won't be the guy that sits here and edits together, you know, 10, 12, 15 strikes in a row and then goes on discussing how amazing this bowling ball is. But it's hard to not edit strikes when all you're doing is striking. Um, and this ball here kind of is, is, is remarkable for a reason. So I want you to look at this and then watch this thing come off the spot right there. And it just hits a little bit higher than normal. Could have been a nine pin, but the reality is because this ball is not super strong, it didn't overreact right there. Um, and this condition this day was perfect for what I wanted to test this ball for. Uh, I This was the same lane that I shot the Forge Fire Review on, and I struggled to get to 221 with that ball that day in that video, because this lane was so weird. Um, it was wet, dry stuff happening. There was, uh, it was just really spotty all over the place. With And so one of the main reasons I got this ball to begin with was because in my main league, um, we have a league before us, they double oil the first league bowls and then we get on there and depending on who you follow if you follow some of the older people the carry down is going to make it seem like there's a million liters of oil on the lane and if you follow some of the younger people that use aggressive stuff you're bowling on a condition that's so dry you can't hardly you, you can't hardly use a, a a real ball you got to find something really weak so i bought this thinking okay this is a little weaker and a ball that uh i can use on um, you know, maybe some spotty conditions and just kind of to smooth out and still have a little bit of break and, you know, not be running everything through the nose. And the hallmark of this ball, I think, is very much the consistency of motion. I don't know if you've picked it up, but here we go to the eighth frame. And this thing has not really changed. The motion does not change with this ball. Oh, hey, look at this. Got really lucky right there, right? You know, that ball was a little bit slow. That was a 17.49 miles an hour. Any of you that know me know that I'm at 18.2 or three consistently. That ball just got away and uh, came out a little weak. But look at that. Still sent it enough to have that happen. So here we go. We're into the ninth. And I knew I missed this shot a little bit. But I want you to see even lightly kissing the pocket. Uh, and probably a little over speed because this one was 18.59. Um, even a little over speed. Look at the look at the pin action that thing creates. This ball is is really crazy to me that um, 900 Global would see this as a you know kind of entry level ball when it performs the way it does. It really it really is a very good ball. Um, so we're into the 10th now. And that was ball one. You know, and, and we got carry there. Uh, same, same shot as the last time. I kind of I kind of missed that, and the ball just kind of held and did what it does. Here we go into frame two, the second ball of the tenth. You know, there you go, nasty messenger. That ball went out at about the nine pin. There was a little deflection, but I think with as with the forge fire, I think some of the deflection was can be attributed to this lane condition. It was just a very very weird condition. Um, just very very strange so here we go last ball of the game for a 290 here and look at this bury it there it is so just ran 11 in a row with this not making uh, a bunch of not making 11 great shots in a row uh, so I got lucky but I think part of that is the ball I think you know the ball hits powerfully uh, it hits strong you know and, and you finish out a game like that wrap a 10 in the first 
you know, and finish out with 290, that's a, that's a good day of practice. So I said, hey, you know, uh, why don't I see if I can go ahead and get the 12th one just to see. So this happened. Here's the 12th ball for 12 in a row and a 300. There it is right there. So end up with 12 in a row and a 300 there. This is the first shot of the next game, and I'm going to show you that series in a minute. There's a reason I kept going, and you'll see shortly. Uh, but the question now is, does the 900 Global After Dark Hybrid make the bag? And is it the main bag or the ball tote? The three ball tote. And the answer is clearly the main bag. This is a great ball. I think it could be a benchmark ball. And the final grade is an A. Um, I think this ball is really, really good, and I think it can be used in a wide range of applications. Uh, appearance, I gave it a three, because it's kind of middle of the road. It's not pretty, it's not ugly, it's just kind of middle of the road. Uh, reliability is, is the motion the ball, or the ball creates, is that motion a reliable motion to strike? And the answer here is absolutely. Uh, very, very reliable motion. Is it repeatable? Repeatability. So if I do the same thing frame to frame to frame, is the ball going to repeat what it does? And the answer clearly, as you can see in this video, was yes, a resounding yes. Uh, how does it finish? Uh, finish is strong, a lot of hitting power. And uh, there's 22 points and an A. And let me show you the series here, guys. This is why I kept going. For those of you looking at this, that is an 868. I have nine games with this ball, and none of them are below 235, and five of them are over 279. So, what's in the main bag? Here we go. Columbia Baller, fantastic ball. You guys should check it out if you get a chance. Uh, Radical Conspiracy Theory, there it is. The Venom Shock Pearl, which has been in the bag for a while and will be in the bag for the foreseeable future. Got two of them undrilled in the basement. Um, then we've got the Storm Phase 3, and if you watch that video, you know why this one's in there. And then obviously here, the uh, After Dark Hybrid. Really, really good ball. I am I am shocked uh, at how good the performance is for a ball that costs $80. So thanks to Rapho Lanes for allowing me to come in and shoot and do what I do. I really appreciate it. The guys over there are great. Uh, if you guys are in Denver, you should check them out. And then uh, Bobby's Pro Shop over at AMF Aurora. Bobby Layton is the owner, and he's, uh, he's one of the best in Denver. Uh, and uh, I would check him out if you're in the market. So... Appreciate you guys watching. If you need to get a hold of me for any reason at all, there's my email right there. Look forward to hearing from you. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.